you, Hunter. Well, this morning, we are back on the farm, continuing our series, Farms from the Heart. Suzanne Lawler is live in Cordell, where people there are still recovering from Hurricane Michael that hit last October. Yeah, guys, Judd Baker and his family left for Columbus the night of Hurricane Michael. They didn't want to take any chances. After all, they lived through Hurricane Irma, and they live in a pecan orchard. And when they came back, they couldn't believe what they saw on a farm that dates back to the 1900s. The rain is coming down with a fury, and so is the wind right now. Now, Hurricane Michael hit October 10th, the peak season for picking pecans. And much like the winds tossed around buildings in Cordial, they also left heavy, broken limbs laden with pecans on farms all across the state. You haven't made it to Block 7 yet, have you? Judd Baker runs J.W. Cannon Farms in Cordial. He took his licks just like everyone else. You couldn't take two steps in the orchard without bumping into a limb of some consequence, some, some size. And... These big trees were, were the greatest challenge, you know, because the entire tree's on the ground and it's blocking your row as you're trying to get ready to harvest. Easy, easy to get discouraged in those moments. He says the destruction captured on his phone doesn't begin to describe what he and his team faced. I'm going to say it was somewhere around a quarter of our crop, 20 to 25 percent. We, we estimate about a half of the crop was on the ground. They lost 193 trees and some of the stumps still sit like ghosts in the orchard. But just the idea that there's these visible reminders uh, to what we had to go through. And, to and what they're still going through. For the most part, life looks back to normal. The debris pushed off to the edges of the fields and fertilizer trucks making their way through the rows. But Judd says he still sees losses six months out from Michael. And so Suzanne, this is a tree that was leaned over by Hurricane Michael. We certainly had plenty of trees that, that are down and gone, cut up, no more. But this is another factor that we're dealing with uh, as a result of the storm are trees that the roots were damaged. Cannon Farms covers hundreds of acres, so Judd says for the most part, Michael just thinned the orchard. Other growers weren't so lucky. Bainbridge, Donaldsonville, Camilla, uh, good growers, big growers uh, who lost thousands of trees. Judd says they're still tinkering with the irrigation system and fixing fences after those vicious winds and rain. But after surviving two hurricanes, Irma and Michael, Judd has a good outlook for this season. Uh, but as we come into harvest 2019, um, I'm happy to say that Michael feels more like it's in the rearview mirror for us. Judd says he and his father-in-law and his crew spent weeks with chainsaws in their hands. And that brings up another point, too, is because they ruined a lot of farm equipment moving it in and out of these fields and in the mud. Guys, back to you. Oh, Thank really. you, Suzanne. At least they are able to rebuild and get back up and going again. But it puts it in perspective just how bad mm -hmm. that damage was. And is still around, mm -hmm. too. Well, coming up next Friday morning at 6 on Farms from the Heart, Suzanne shows us that row cropping is not an easy life, especially for a young couple with two kids and full-time jobs. Most every morning I get up, check on the cows, check on all the produce, um, check on all my help with what all we got going on. Then I go put in 8 to 10 hours for the state of Georgia and then come back here and do it all over again. My goodness. Well, Jason and Amber run a certified organic operation. They take care of 6,000 plants, including corn, tomatoes, and blueberries. The Becks also have about 25 head of cattle. Next week, Suzanne takes us to Eastman. Find out why this land is so sacred to this family and why they work so hard to maintain farming and family traditions. We will have another check on your forecast when we come back.